Hello guys, today I want to show you another new Laravel feature released last week in Laravel 10.33, which is what happens when translations are missing. This is submitted by this guy, Dean Wonder, and this is actually their first Laravel pull request, so congratulations. And this is, I think, a very important feature, and it didn't get enough attention on Twitter and online last week. I was quite surprised by that, although six people upvoted for that, which is quite a big number. And this is actually an interesting scenario if you take a look at pull request and its description it's very important to double check the syntax after the feature is released because quite often the feature in the original proposed syntax is changed by the team by Taylor himself or by the author maybe some refactoring happens and in the official docs after release the syntax is different so you may check the official docs afterwards or just go to the files changed of the pull request to check the actual syntax. And let me show you that syntax. So here's a scenario demo in my filament project, and this is the label on top of table, which is expected to be translated as product.price. In filament, here's the syntax, but you don't need to know filament because the actual function is Laravel. So double underscore product.price, which is expecting that product.price to be in, for example, en.json, or whatever is your language.json. So this should be the expected scenario, product.price, and then if we refresh the page, the label is correct. But what if we forgot the translation or made a typo here, for example, then the problem is that the user sees the key, the placeholder, the label, which looks quite okay here on English page. But for example, if you work with Spanish translations, the whole page would be Spanish, for example, and then for some reason, one label would be in English language. It would look pretty weird. So to avoid that, we have kind of two in one feature here. In your app service provider, you may specify this. So this is the example of different syntax from the official pull request. In the original proposed version, the syntax was translator handle missing translation key using, and the actual released was lang, not translations, and handle missing key using, and lang is from facades here. And then inside of that callback function, you may do whatever you want notify someone, put that into the log, because one of the problems is actually that that error isn't logged anywhere. So the user, the Spanish user, again, if we come to that example, they see the English translation, they don't report it to anyone. Of course, why would they? Because users are lazy and developers don't even know the translation is missing. So in this case, you may log that into Laravel log and then your bug tracker, for example, Flare, Sentry, or Bug Snack, or Rollbar, or whatever you use, would notify you via email, Slack, or whatever is the choice. So now if we refresh that page, two things happen. That's why I called it two in one. So first, it doesn't show product.price anymore. It shows the fallback value of the translation, which in case of filament is automatically labeled by column name. In case of not filament, I guess it would just show empty value, empty string. I'm not sure actually, but basically it doesn't show the key here. And then what it does, it logs that fact into Laravel log. In fact, there are more translations missing from the filament itself, so maybe filament wasn't the best idea for this example, for the showcase, but you get the idea. So this is what I was waiting for. Translations missing, and then someone from development team or from translator team could fill in the values. You may find all the syntax in the localization. There is a new section in the documentation of Laravel handling missing translation strings. Available from Laravel 10.33. And if you want to know more about multi-language projects and translations, translations and everything on Laravel daily courses. Let me find it. There's a course called Multilanguage Laravel, all you need to know. So I will link that one as well in the description below. It is available for Laravel daily premium members. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.